morning everybody Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates here with day 10 is that right day 10 it's too early for me to be getting confused on what day it is right day 10 of stitch mania it is 801 here 74 degrees on May 10th and a gorgeous morning it is I feel like I'm being a little bit quiet this morning. Mike is home from work today. He's worked a number of nine hour days this week. Um, hasn't really been able to get anything done here at home for his friend coming in this afternoon. So he's like um, taking the day off. So he is sleeping in. He's still, well, he may still be asleep. He's still in the bedroom. I say sleeping in, but he got up probably at 5 or 5.30 to feed a certain cat that comes in and tramples all over us when he's hungry. So he got up and did that and went back to bed. But anyways, I have the door to the bedroom closed. Sasha does not like that because after breakfast, he usually goes and gets under the bed and doesn't come out again until lunchtime, basically. So he can't get into the bedroom, so every once in a while he goes over to it and meows at it. And I yell at him and he stops. So who knows if Mike is still sleeping. But anyways, I'm gonna try and keep this a little shorter today than yesterday. I really don't wanna get into half hour videos. Um, for Stitch Mania, but I do have a lot to show you today because I'm going to show you what I'm going to be working on over the weekend when I won't be filming videos and actually into next week because I just don't know, you know, what the situation is going to be with um, the friends we have coming in. And I just think it'll be a little bit weird to be up here filming a video when they're doing who knows what here. If they've gone out for an early morning, whatever, then I'll probably try and get one in. But in the meantime, first let's talk about yesterday's project. Boy, this little motif's, motif's gonna go fast. I love Quakers. <laughs> so yesterday, if you recall, and if you watched yesterday's video, I was working on the Four Seasons piece by Soda Stitch. Absolutely love it. And one of the, one of the fun little tidbits about this I guess, is that Mike is excited, is excited about this one too. He really wants me to get this one done. So I need to figure out how to put a little more time into it. But anyways, so I am just over here on these trees, right? Oh, stop. So I was working on shading in one of the shades on this tree and I did decide to work up start working up the building here so i worked up some white here and then i did work a little a large chunk of what you see in this dark tree is black 310 oh and i also started this little window here six so that is here so hard to tell where the shading is but it's over in here and up in here and over along here um so this tree's almost done this tree I still have a chunk to do and then there's some darker shading down here for the um, branches and then up here is the building the start of the building so the white and then the black so you can see I have almost a whole window there and then started down on the shading or the tree on the side. So happy with my progress on that yesterday. As always, wish I had gotten more done, but that's always what I feel. So today we are working on Grace. Grace Quaker Sampler from Sampler Cove. This is the one that was the stitch along with Tamara. This Nana stitches, she has hers done. Andy Velo, um, Nana's Needles, she just finished hers as well. I don't recall seeing that on Instagram, but I'm sure she must have posted it. Um, Lynette Peters is also working on it, and I'm working on it. And I am, you know, 
I think both Lynette and I are getting to it when we get to it amongst everything else. So I have a good chunk of the bottom half done. I started in the middle and so did some of the motifs around the middle, came down that side and now I'm working across the bottom. I'm working on the last two pieces of the bottom here. So this is what I'm doing in red and then I hope to get a good chunk of that motif done today. So this is 40 count linen from XJU Designs. The colorway is called Ash Rose. And I fell in love hard with the color as soon as, as soon as XJU had posted it um, on Instagram, I knew I needed to get some. And I knew it would be perfect for this. The flosses that I'm using are all Victorian motto, except for what I'm using for the um, one over one letters, that is Banker's Gray from General Arts. And I'm only using that dark gray for that color. The rest of them are basically shades of gray and then this pop of red. So like I said, I didn't get done yesterday or did I say, I don't remember. I know I said Mike didn't get stuff done. Neither did I, I ended up, I had a bit of a headache yesterday morning and it just got worse and worse as the day went on. So I got some things done, but I didn't get out to do the running around I had wanted to do to get the, the stuff for the lanai and that kind of thing. So today we will be doing that. His friend gets here about noon um, they said after they get off the plane, they're just going to head over to Pearl Harbor. Of course, they were thinking Mike was working today, and so they wouldn't head up until, um, after he got off work. But I also don't know if his girlfriend has ever been to Hawaii. Um, John himself was stationed here for a while. He was Air Force, so he was stationed here. Um, but I think he wants to show his girlfriend the highlights too. So they are starting at Pearl Harbor, which is of course a very appropriate place for him to start. And I hope I'm not being too quiet. Oh, Mike just woke up. Say hi, Mike. Hi. <laughs> he has his morning voice on. <laughs> So anyways, um, we're not really sure what time he's gonna be up here, but we have time in the morning to get errands done and get the last few things in the apartment cleaned up and put away. Mostly still the, <laughs> the papers all over the bed in there and the papers all over the counter in, in the kitchen. That happens, right? Boy, I think just like that, I'm gonna be done with this motif. I love Quakers. <laughs> You get that little sense of accomplishment so quickly. Wait, I'm off. Oh my God, why didn't you people tell me I'm off? Oh, look at that. Now it's all gonna have to come out. Well, frackety, frack, frack, frack. So much for getting that done real quick. I think, I think Carolyn from, um, CZ Stitches <laughs> made a comment that she loves that I show all my mistakes too <laughs> and talks about my mistakes. <laughs> well, we all make them, right? It's part of the part of the game of stitching. Do you see what I did here? I don't know whether you, you're even, you don't see the chart, of course, so you don't know, but the, it's supposed to be symmetrical and where these two are coming out, see how there's these five in here? This, this is not part of the five. This should be like in the middle of the five. Anyway, yeah. Boy, is that annoying. I was going to have a finish right here on this video and now I'm not. So those of you that said you don't know how that I, how I record and stitch at the same time, obviously I'm not that good. <laughs> 
<laughs> you need to keep to keep to more uncomplicated projects. Anyways, I'm not going to redo this here. I'm going to keep going on doing it off camera because I do want to talk about everything else. Um, okay, so I had mentioned that Fractal was supposed to be, the Fractal bookmark was supposed to be today, but um, I wasn't going to try and record that because it is more difficult. It is this gorgeous, gorgeous full coverage piece the free chart from Cross Stitch Collectibles in March. And so this is my start on that. This is one over one on 28 count Lugana or Jobelin, one of those even weaves. So this will be my project for tomorrow, for Saturday. Sunday. I get back to Green on Green by Karen Kluba of Rosewood Manor. You remember this beauty? Again, another Quakerish motif, although this is a little fancier. This is the one that I'm doing on the burnt bronze fabric from under the sea that no longer seems to be available. But I was thinking for this that Havana by Weeks Dye Works might be a similar, it's a little, I think Havana is a little bit more gold, but it might give you a similar look to this for those who are interested. And I'm using the silks for you, um, silks that I got. So that is Sunday's piece. And I'm going into the week, or, or no, that's, yeah, that's Sunday's piece. I'm going into the week because, like I said, I don't know what recording I'll be able to do. Monday is the lighthouse, guiding light. This is the kit I got from my bobbin. Then I replaced the fabric with this 100% hemp. And I just have the little center, if I can find the camera, the center of the lighthouse there started. So hopefully I will get a more chunk of that done. And then, I have a whole stack of stuff. After that comes Hibernation Day from Heartstring Samplery. So I'm just up here on this one. I can't even find it, there it is. I love the colors of this on this fabric. Don't ask me what the fabric is right now. I'd have to look it up. And then last but not least, we have, let me find the picture. We have the story of sheep from Jardin Privé. And I'm still working on this part, the first section. This is a four part um, series, so I'm working on the first part still. So I think I might try and get that part up there done when I'm working on it next. That there. I'm about a third of the way done with it, so I think that'll work. Anyways, guys, that is what is coming up. When I do get a chance to record again, what I probably will do is um, do another floss tube type of thing so that um, I can show you my progress on all of those instead of the, the Stitch With Me video. So I hope you guys have a lovely day. You have a lovely weekend. Don't miss me too much. Keep finding your joy. Keep stitching. And I will talk to you when I talk to you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.